Stealth Rune. It's a funny game, because you do a lot of cool stuff in it. Except, well, you know, um, the last chapter kind of came out two years ago. And, well, you know, um, we kind of want a new one. And, well, Toby Fox is working on one. But here's the problem. We don't really know exactly when this is going to release or what's going to be happening with it. But Chapter 3 and 4 have certainly been confirmed. And, well, I have been talking about it in a previous video. Except, here's the thing. I want to explain it a bit better. Because last time I only said, like, one thing. And apparently I didn't explain the characters that well. But it got a lot of views, so thank you. Anyway, let's get into this. So, um, this is the green room, and this is one of the most important rooms. And apparently I was literally completely wrong about all of these doors, as well, you know, the characters say. So, let's get into this. The left door leads to, well, two characters that are apparently called the weather. And, well, they always stick together. And the door with the star on it apparently leads to a shadow man putting his socks on and well if you click on the shadow man then it leads you to this clip of uh, us fighting the shadow man and it looks like what we have to do is we have to shoot his socks to get 100% spare thing um anyway if we click on the the door to the right it leads us to the TV um, just the TV. So, um, Chris might have jumped into the TV, but that's okay. Next are soundtracks. One of the soundtracks that is used in the battles sounds very similar to Rubuster, and probably just a slowed down version of it, Bruh. but its name is Battle Vapor, and here it is. Great, now let's see how this fits into Delta in Chapter 3 and 4. First we have to figure out what role the Weathers are playing. I assume they're going to be something like Queen, where they taunt us for the whole game, and then we'll eventually do the great finale, and we'll have a battle against them. Except what I think is we'll have a pretend battle at the beginning, where, you know, we hit them a few times, and, you know, they run away. Uh... That will probably be cool if we did end up fighting them because these guys look like they ha are like somewhat strong and their attacks are probably related to weather. Next are the Shadow Men. The Shadow Men seem to have pretty cool attacks according to this video, and well, they seem to be, you know, quite easy to spare since all we need to do is knock off their shoes or socks, and they also play some sort of um, uh, saxophone, or trumpet, or whatever this is, but it seems like we can't actually see them, because they have a hat on, and, well, they're just completely shadowed out. Anyway, now that we got that out of the way, I just want to make a quick little announcement about the weatherman. Could the weatherman be Mike, or Tenor? It makes sense because tenor is in like, uh, like, like, look, they're literally in a TV and it has antennas. And while well, the weathermen seem to, you know, live in there, uh, could this guy be Mike? I'm not quite sure, but eh, it just seems so. No, I'm not saying it. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. It's just, it's not likely, okay? The, the weather dude is just not Mike. But I think, um, uh, look, it's, eh, uh, I don't know, but it, it feels like, um, I did this drawing of Mike, and, uh, this is it, but it, um, I, I don't know if that's Mike, but it, it, it's like, it could be, it could be, that's what I'm gonna say, I think Mike, uh, has something to do with a TV head. So I added that in, and spammed in size. 